The Philadelphia Eagles avoided the choke job. They have clinched the number one seed in the NFC, a first round bye. Home field advantage goes through Lincoln Financial Field in South Philadelphia, and they won the NFC East. We're going to break down this win against the New York Giants in week 18 of the NFL season. But first, Philadelphia Eagles now is presented by Manscaped. You saw Jalen Hurts walk into the stadium with that fresh cut and the trim going on. If you want to trim up and clean up your balls, do so with Manscaped, manscaped.com slash chat. 20% off and free shipping if you use the promo code chat. Jalen Hurts' shape up was fresh. Freshen up your balls with Manscaped today. So the Philadelphia Eagles able to lock up the number one seed, win the NFC East, home field advantage now going through Philadelphia, a very difficult environment to play for a lot of teams in the NFC, following a 22-16 victory over the New York Giants. And heading into this matchup, we knew that the Giants were going to rest many of their marquee players and many of their starters, including Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley. And early on, I thought the Philadelphia looked really good in this matchup. They were able to take that early lead. And then the Giants, led by Davis Webb, who finished the day 23 of 40 for 168 yards, two total touchdowns, and obviously the yards per completion not high, able to fight back at the end of the day. But at the end of the day, all that matters is that the Eagles get the number one seed. All that matters is that the Eagles are the NFC East champs and that home field advantage is going through Lincoln Financial Field. I understand the concerns and I share those concerns about Philadelphia not necessarily playing well right now going into the playoffs. They're slipping a little bit. They're struggling. They haven't had a good offensive showing in a little while and that includes that Jalen Hurts start against the Chicago Bears. But really what this game comes down to is the health of of Jalen Hurts. If he's right, Eagles have an opportunity to win a Super Bowl. They're second in franchise history. If he's not, then the Eagles will get ousted early in the playoffs because I don't think that Gardner Minshew has that Nick Foles BDN element to his mindset, to his game. And I don't have a lot of confidence in this coaching staff that they will put in an offense that will benefit Gardner Minshew if Jalen Hurts is injured. More on that coming up as well as a lot of thoughts on this football game. But first, NFC East champs. Type champs in the comment section to celebrate. Look, I'm 30 years old. I remember growing up in the early 2000s when the Eagles were running the NFC East. But ever since the end of that reign, there has not been a back-to-back -back winner in the NFC East. So to win a divisional championship is certainly a big deal for Philadelphia. Type champs in the comment section to celebrate that because the gear is certainly out and about. And thank you to all of you for tuning into our watch party. Trace Gerard, Abby Alonzo, absolutely killed it. I had other duties here at Chat Sports, had to go live on the Niners Report. A lot of you will rip me for that. That's fine. It is what it is. Bigger channel, more subscribers, more money to be had, but they crushed it. And in the process, got the 39,000 subs. What we did at the end of the day, we gave you more content. That's what we do. Daily content on the birds. Subscribe, Philadelphia Zone right here. Appreciate all of the support. So going back to my original points about this football game, it all comes down to Jalen Hurts, and he admitted after the game that he really had to push himself to play. I thought that early he looked solid. A couple of deep balls to A.J. Brown. They were accurate throws. He at least gave A.J. Brown an opportunity to make a play, but he's obviously not 100%. A couple of throws downfield were really on the point, and that's good for Jalen Hurts moving forward. It's also important. It's so clutch for the Eagles to get that number one seed so that he can rest, Lane Johnson can rest, and this team can continue to get healthy like a guy like C.J. Gardner-Johnson who's coming off a lacerated kidney. But with Jalen Hurts, Sirianni had said that he was sore leading up to the game. He certainly didn't do a lot at practice, as we saw from the video that we saw. He was a limited participant, and in the throws that he made, I saw Ian Rappaport on NFL Network. He's like, he looks really good, Ian. He's literally having this motion and just throwing the football as such. He's not having to put a lot of oomph into those throws. He did it early to A.J. Brown. And then after that, maybe the sword has started to set in a little bit because you could tell that the accuracy wasn't there. That one interception that he threw in the red zone, inexcusable. And those are interceptions in the red zone that cannot happen throughout the playoffs. But 
with Jalen Hurts looking like he did, at least somewhat healthy, with some level of accuracy, able to get some reps in, instead of if he weren't to play in this game, and the Eagles still clinched five weeks off, it's good for him to get a little tread on the tires, get his feet wet a little bit, to get him primed and ready for the NFL playoffs, and I thought that today, Jalen Hurts took significant steps in the process. Now, today's show is presented by Manscaped. Jalen Hurts' shape up so fresh. If you want to freshen up your balls, do so with Manscaped. 20% off and free shipping for the best men's grooming products. Join the 7 million men who have put their trust into Manscaped to allow them to perform better in the bedroom and clean up the forest down below the belt. Three, two, one. Happy New Year from our friends at Manscaped. The ball has officially dropped, but that doesn't mean you have to drop the ball on cleaning your balls in 2023. The Lawnmower 4.0, inter interchangeable blades, battery life that lasts forever, safeguard technology so you don't have to worry about bloodying up your nuts down below. We'll put that link in the comment section and the description of this video. An elite read, just like Jalen Hurts has been elite this year. So more thoughts on this football game. The Eagles' success certainly hinges on Jalen Hurts' health. If he's right, they have an opportunity to make a run at a Super Bowl. If he's not, I think they're going to get eliminated early. And that's really what it comes down to for me. Because this team is built on the identity of Jalen Hurts and his ability to really be an MVP-level candidate throwing the football, running it, being a versatile weapon, and him keeping opposing defenses on their heels. And if he can't add that element and he didn't run the football a lot today, then that's a little bit of a concern. Now, the Eagles running the football today still ran it for about four yards per carry. Boston Scott, nine carries, 54 yards. Miles Sanders continues to be a little bit banged up, in my opinion, with the way that I've seen him. 11 carries, 33 yards. Kenny Gainwell, five for 35. Had a couple of big carries late on that final drive to really put this game away. And for A.J. Brown, set the record for the most receiving yards in a touchdown and what I thought was cool was that he broke Mike Quick's record, who is a great analyst on 94 WIP alongside Merrill Reese, and he wore Mike Quick's jersey after the game and congratulated him and said thank you for paving the way. Everybody last week wanted to say, oh, you kind of gave up on that one play that got intercepted against the Saints last week to uh, Lattimore. You didn't put in that effort. A.J. Brown is the leader of this football team. A.J. Brown had posted on his Instagram, and he said in the locker room that I'm pissed off. We need to have that lion over sheep mentality. We need to win this game, take care of business. And he was a big reason that the Eagles were able to take care of business. And him being able to break those records, it's a testament to the work that he's put in this year. It's a testament to the Eagles' offensive scheme. It's a testament to Jalen Hurts throwing the football, improving his accuracy, and overall ability as a passer. And Howie Roseman deserves credit for the trade of A.J. Brown, for banking on Jalen Hurts to be the quarterback for this franchise and not making the temptation of a trade that would have been Russell Wilson, who looks incredibly washed, and for putting the complimentary pieces around him, including another really good wide receiver in Devontae Smith, who we'll talk about in a second. First, though, grade the Eagles' performance against the Giants. C? C is what I think I'm going with, not just because my name is Chase, but because I think that the Eagles, they were a little bit lackluster. After the start of this game, in which they came out guns a-blazing, A, B, C, D, or F, let me know down in the comment section. Now, going back to how Howie Roseman has built this roster, complimentary pieces around Jalen Hurts and A.J. Brown, but also the drafting of Devontae Smith. He's been really good his last two years. Last year, broke the record for the most receiving yards in a single, touch, uh, single season for Eagles rookie wide receiver. He beat Deshaun Jackson. I understand it took an extra game. Who cares? Still really impressive for him to perform like he did. And how about what he did today at Lincoln Financial Field? Most catches in a single season for an Eagles wide receiver all time. Again, this takes game planning. This takes scheming. This takes execution, and this Eagles team is built in a way in which they have two first-round picks coming up in the 2023 NFL Draft with the current construction of this roster to compete for years to come. A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, Jalen Hurts are going to be a part of that, and to have this young core, regardless of what they do this year, is important because, at the very least, you have your foundation. Year one of a rebuild last year against Tampa Bay. 
They lost in the first round, but year one of a rebuild, they still made it to the playoffs. And year two, number one seed in the NFC, home field advantage going through South Philadelphia, where the crowd is going to be raucous, and I would pay anything to be there for that divisional round matchup. But we do, we'll be doing a watch party for it here on Eagles now. So can the Eagles make a Super Bowl run? Why for yes and for no? Let us know down in the comment section. Really appreciate everybody for tuning in. Obviously, with this Eagles performance today, some concerns, but what the concern was going into this game, get the number one seed, win the NFC East, and worry about the rest later, get healthy, get that extra week off. That's what the Eagles were able to do in this matchup. We'll be back on Monday for more Eagles talk, news, rumors, analysis, because that's what we do here on Eagles Now. As always, appreciate all of you for tuning in, and make sure you subscribe to the channel.